I'm getting better after I've been poisoned for the third time in three months. Mr. Ibu, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Nigerian actor John Okafor, a.k.a. Mr. Ibu, has said he's currently in the hospital after being poisoned for the third time in about three years. Speaking with Saturday Bit from his hospital bed, Ibu said, I just got poisoned again. It seems my enemies are using me to rehearse their powers. This time I was poisoned. I was not poisoned in the village. I was poisoned in Abuja last week at an entertainment event. I really cannot explain how I was poisoned because it was a gathering of people, though it was not a big event. Though he sounded weak, the actor maintained that he was getting better. He said, I'm recuperating, although I have neither walked or walked out or driven since I got ill. However, I intend to take a walk this Friday evening because I'm hopeful that I would get better. I am eating well now and I'm prepared to go back on my on set any moment from now. Mr. Obu also bashed those soliciting for funds on his behalf without his consent. He said, some people have sold me. They have, heard, they have not heard from me and all they want to do is sell me. But their plans will not work because God has raised me up. I'm not begging anybody for money. My condition is not as critical as some people making it seem. Anybody who has made it a point of duty to talk about my sickness and take advantage of it should stop. I am here at the hospital with my wife. I am not supposed, I'm not saying all my friends that are supposed to visit me and bring me money cannot do that. But I've never asked anyone to beg people for money on my behalf. They should stop. If I want to die, I'll let them know since they seem to be so interested. Back in 2019, the doctors alleged that some members of his staff were paid by his kinsmen to kill him because of his successful career. Well, uh, let me say this. I think it's time for everyone to be careful. Apart from him himself, see, things have changed. Take me back time to the time where people gather together. People celebrate each other genuinely. People come together and they have genuine love feelings for each other. Genuine kindness for each other. Genuine, they are cheering each other up genuinely. Not they will cheer you up and they are going to do you yimu at your back. Sincerely. They are going to, you know, watch, want to watch you grow. The time, look, if you have a person who cheers you, who is nice to you, who is kind to you, and the person, people have been saying this, your friend is really a friend, please. Don't trade that person for any word because times have changed. It is now time where you watch what you eat, you watch what you drink. Apart from that, you watch what you say. The things you say, you don't say them in a way that is supposed to cause any problem. But the way even people you say them in their midst will go and twist it, you know, outside. You'll be lost. You'll be like, ah, uh -uh. how? I did not say all this. you find yourself struggling to, you know, to, to tell even yourself that this is not what you said. It is that bad. It is that bad. And, you know, this kind of a situation will even make him to know the kind of people he has. For those who have rushed and they're already putting his picture, saying he needs money and all that, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this goes along with to show you the kind of people you are. Well, sometimes they say good things happen. I mean, bad things happen so that you know the kind of good people you have around you. You know the amount of friends you have around you. You know if your friends are really trustworthy friends. So at the end of the day, we wish Mr. Ibu quick recovery. He should be very careful henceforth. In fact, I even feel him coming out to make this public is even more, is even more um, um, problems. But nonetheless, he should ensure he's, you know, he's, he's well taken care of. He makes sure that if it is eating, if it is drinking, sometimes you don't even need to eat and drink before you're poisoned. Yes, you don't need to eat and drink. He should be extremely careful, like extremely careful to ensure that, you know, this thing does not repeat itself. He should... Go back and recheck because I don't want to believe that somebody who has been poisoned twice before will still allow himself to be drinking and eating at an event. You understand? Even ordinary mere water, they can poison your water. Yes, it is that bad. That is why I don't blame people who have their flask whenever they are going out. You tell them, are you a baby? They tell you, yes, leave it like that for me. I don't want another water. It is this one. I've boiled this one. In fact, they won't tell you that they have cucumber and whatever. It is, oh, oh no. Nah. You know, everybody is trying to, you know, stay safe and stay calm. So if you are one of those people who go around doing what is not good, it is an opportunity for you to tell yourself and give yourself brain. Yes. I keep asking myself, those who go around making sure life is unbearable or making sure somebody is in pain, I don't know how much they get paid. I don't know how much, I don't know how to put it into words now. How much, will I say, love 
they get from it. I'm trying trying to get it all in my head. How was somebody who, you know, is a human being like me, he breathes in the same air as I do, the person will be so interested in making sure that I'm in pain. He'll be so interested in making sure that, you know, I am not okay. He'll be so interested, I mean, he'll be so delighted when he sees me in pain and when he, he is now willing to help. There are some people who do that. As in, they feel, okay, the only way I can make you important things is when I do this, and it is actually not bad. So this one is a call to everybody. Times are no longer good. Those times where you are even going to go at somebody you don't know, before you know it, you get chatting with the person. Things have changed. The world has changed. Now, even, even within your family members, you are not scared of what to eat. You are not scared of what to drink. Even your normal pure water, even table water. I said people go out with their own water. They don't allow it to go out from their side. They carry it everywhere they go. That is how bad it is. Because if you say you're not going to eat, they will make sure, sha, something happen, sha. We need to drink water. Take water now. You know, this kind of things. So we wish him quick recovery. And of course, he should ensure that he keeps himself safe. And, um, you know, we pray God to continue to guide him. Okay, then be disciplined in your feeding and mind where you go to. Don't ever eat or drink outside again. Wisdom is profitable to the direct. Yes, all I've said summed up in a sentence. Let him mind how he eats, mind how he drink, mind how he even, even if it is water. Don't say because it is water, there are some drugs that can dissolve in water. Yes, you have to be very careful, like very careful, very, very careful to ensure that um, at the end of the day, you are not left in a position that is like people will not be saying, ah, sorry, you. God forbid, sorry will be our portion. Okay. We got granted divine healing, bro, but please learn from your lessons and avoid eating or drinking carelessly in public hands forth. You are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So while uh, people are going to be saying, be careful, be careful, I want to use this opportunity to ask those who are doing this, who are the perpetrators. I'm asking them, like, how? How do you feel? Like me, for the fact that I'm even talking to you and maybe you're getting offended, especially when maybe I don't, I don't mean it. I have to start apologizing and telling that, no, please, oh, you know, this is not what happened, though, and this is not what happened. So please, um, uh, those who are involved in this, they should know that nothing lasts forever. And they should know that this life is garbage and garbage out. Today, you're doing it for somebody today. Tomorrow, you're going to be at the receiving end. And I know by that time, you should not be, you should not be saying no. Yes, you should not be saying no. Because it is exactly what you reap that you are actually going to. I mean, it's exactly what you sow that's exactly going to reap. On this note, you have come to the end of the news to say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.